Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. On this video, let's talk about Twilio and how to get started with this one. So before we get started and create an account for this one, or this specific website, I want to let you know on how it works, or basically what is Twilio. So as you can see right off the bat right there, Twilio is going to be a customer engagement platform. Combines powerful communications, APIs, with AI and first-party data. So basically, what is it? As mentioned right there, it's going to be a cloud communications platform that enables developers and business to integrate phone, um, SMS, WhatsApp, video calls, and other communications features into their apps using APIs. So what are the pros and cons for this one? Pros would be easy to integrate, um, scalable, multi-channel, global reach, and reliable. Now what are going to be the cons here? The thing I can check for this one is number one would be pricing. Let me just check the pricing here, see all pricing. So this is going to be a con for me. It's a quite a little bit expensive for the prices. As you can see right there, each feature has its own prices. As you can see right here, SMS, it starts with this product right there. Or for this one right here for a lookup, it's going to be a 0.01. That was going to be each lookup. And moving forward, start free for 6,000 emails or $15 a month. Compared to where it's going to be competitors, it's, it's a little bit more expensive. Next one requires technical knowledge. This is best suited for developers and going to be for tech teams. It's not really for the general crowd. And then lastly, support tiers. Premium support costs extra. Take note about that one. Even though it says here support are going to be free for everyone, there's going to be what they call premium support. You're going to add an extra service and extra support to the customer service if you're going to pay extra. And basically that is going to be too low for you. Anyway, the product here would be messaging, the voice, we have verify, lookup, know your customers and assess their identity risk with real-time phone intelligence. You also have conversational AI, email right there, serverless, phone numbers and video. Now this is going to be all under communications and each one of them has a subcategory. For example, under messaging, it has SMS, WhatsApp conversations, and RCS. Under voice, it has PSTN, which you can open one by one if you're really not aware of what does it work out. As you can see right here, this is entirely for voice. It gives you what it looks like and how it works. And basically, their partner is going to be here as well. Going back in the main page, we're going to have lookup. Conversional AI, actually, this is a new feature. Conversational intelligence, what is it? So basically, conversational intelligence is going to be the interaction between AI and your live agent, your AI and your customers. Basically, that's it. You have email, serverless, phone numbers, and video. You also have Twilio Flex. You have Twilio Engage. This two are going to be engagement center for customer sales and service. You also have marketing campaigns here. Talking about customer data, you have Twilio Segment. Connections, sparkles, unify, and journeys. However, this is not everything. If I click on see all products right there, you're going to see everything that Twilio offers, starting from phone calls all the way down, and I think up to services and support. Take note about what I said earlier, they offer premium support for extra payment. Alright? Now, what are their solutions? This is verification identity, alerts and notifications, marketing and promotions, Contact Center, IVR, and self-service. Basically, there are going to be, what I mentioned earlier, a platform where you can manage your customer service business. You can find your partner there, and they're asking here why Twilio. So basically, Twilio is going to be a trusted platform for data-driven customers, engagement across any channel. Now, since we have covered everything, let's talk about the technology. In here, you can change your language. You can call support directly. And there is what they call support plans. This is what I'm talking about earlier. It has a guaranteed response, a dedicated technical account manager, change plans and time and 24-7 support. From free to enterprise scale, this is going to be a different payment rather than the payment you did earlier. This one's right here. Let me just go back on the pricing. Other than this pricing right here, their customer service support has a different price plans. Take note about that one. Other than that, let's go back here and let's try to get an account. So as you can see right here, it has two options. You can contact sales directly 
without even starting an account, but you can start for free. So in here, I'm going to click on start for free right there and wait for it to load up. It's going to ask me for a first, last name, and the basically my information. So since this is going to be a dummy account, let's start with Anthony. Uh, this is just going to be a sample name. I'm going to go for Stark. Email address, I'm going to go for my dummy Google account. And this one right there. Or, as you can see right here, there is an option where you can sign up with Google. However, before you proceed on signing up with Google, take note that you cannot tailor fit your user interface in Twello if you click sign up with Google. So I suggest go on the longer route so you can tailor fit how you see your Twello account. All right? Let me just type in here my password. I think that should be doing it perfectly right there. And click on continue. So welcome back to the video. Now it took you back on the landing page right here because the account I'm trying to create earlier has been going to be under provisions for two days or 24 or 48 hours business days. That being said, Twilio has a new update right now that before you can create an account, basically they need to review your address. I guess there's going to be a lot of fraudsters right there. Especially this is going to be an entirely new business. So again, guys, if you want to start your account, basically click on login or start for free. If you click on login right there, even if you use your dummy Google account to log in, it will still ask you for your creations. You can log in to Twilio Sendrid or Twilio Segment right there. I'm going to show you this too right here. All right. So Twilio Segment is entirely different from Twilio Sendrid. These are going to be the business options of Twilio which is also going to be the entirely options from earlier. If I check on pricing right here, they're going to be entering the marketing campaigns. So as you can see right here, there's going to be a lot of branches inside Twilio. It has the marketing campaigns for the pricing. It has the entirely features right there. And then the customer support from earlier. Now let's talk about why is Twilio going to be, if you're going to choose Twilio, why Twilio basically? So customer engagement platform, you have communications and customers data as well. In this one right here, you can start for free entirely under communications. This is now they call Twilio CPaaS. Now for this one right here, they're going to focus mainly on communications, not just the entirely APIs earlier where you can just create your customer project mint segments. This is entirely for communications where you can view your report in your Twilio login name later by CPaaS by Gartner saying a lot of things earlier right here but how does it basically work so i'm going to summarize it so twilio provides apis right as i mentioned earlier that allows developers to add and communications features into the apps send and receive sms recalls that's one next one the phone numbers you can buy virtual phone numbers for the local toll free and short codes from Twilio. i'm going to show you right there that you can buy from here or now moving over you can have some webhooks so webhook is going to be when an incoming SMS or call is received. Twilio sends a webhook, an HTTP request to your server. Moreover, your server replies with instruction in TwiML, Twilio's marketing language, moving over what we can do next on your reply SMS. Twilio uses also account SID and auth token to secure API access. That's why it's really, really strict on creating an account here. Because they have two-factor authentication to protect their API access, all right? So what are going to be the advanced features here? As I've shown you earlier, it has Twilio Flex, Twilio Sendread, and Twilio Verify, a two-factor authentication and phone verification, which is really hard to pass by. Even if you use some dummy phone numbers out there, it will not work on Twilio. Take note about that one. You also have Twilio Conversions, United Messaging across platforms, SMS chat, and WhatsApp. Now, example use cases. You remember OTP, one-time verification, right? As you can see right here, this is going to be a two-factor verification. But OTP under Twilio is going to be via SMS or call. Automated remembers for appointments, live support chat, and marketing campaigns. And basically, that's how Twilio works. Again, guys, after creating an account, it will review your account for 48 hours or two business days before giving you access to your new sign-up account. Because there's a lot of frauds out there right now trying accessing Twilio. And by the way, they have this powerful partners. It has Luma, Philips, Reddit, Spotify, Beehive, Jack Henry, Alation, and so more and so forth. They're really good. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.
Goodbye for now.